They're taxed sooner or later and usually volatile. In this episode, I'm going to address the question, what are the disadvantages of mutual funds? Get ready. I used to sell mutual funds, but I stopped clear back in 1980 and my clients were never happier than when I got them out of the volatile market. So my name's Doug Andrew and I've been a financial strategist and a retirement planning specialist for more than four and a half decades. I started in 1974. In fact, from 1974 until 1980, I ended up being responsible for over 3000 clients in 13 Western states. And I had their money diversified in mutual funds in the market. I know what I'm talking about. What happened in 1980? because from that point forward, my clients were never happier than when I got them out of the volatile market. Now, a lot of people said, Doug, you missed out. You could have been making a ton of money by managing your client's money in the market. I said, no, I wanted to protect them from the market volatility and convert what they were earning to tax-free rates of return where they have more liquidity, more safety of principle and earn greater rates of return that are totally tax-free. And people go, where's that? So I needed to start educating them on what was far superior than having my money in the volatile market. So I'm going to share with you what are the disadvantages of mutual funds. As I indicated, you know, they're taxed sooner or later. You either uh, invest after tax money into a mutual fund and you pay tax every year on what you're gaining. That's the worst way to save, by the way. Or if you use it as your IRA or 401k, you're going to have to pay tax later. And I've got a clue for you. You're likely not going to be in a lower tax bracket when you retire, if you accumulate very much of a respectable retirement nest egg. So what's better? So I've usually described the stock market is like a person with a yo-yo, uh, hopefully walking up some stairs. The market goes up and down, up and down, but generally, hopefully uh, it will keep going up in the long run. Well, there's a lot of periods now since the turn of the century where the person with a yo-yo, so to speak, is walking across the flat surface, meaning the Dow Jones, uh, the, the, the S&P 500, the Russell 2000. These are indicators. They're called uh, indices and index measures. And there's periods like the year 2000 clear to 2012 where people who had money in the market, uh, maybe let's say a million bucks. And you can extrapolate from this example if you have less money than that or more money than that. But people maybe saved their entire lifetime and had a million dollars in the year 2000 and it's in the market. They saw that million dollar nest egg dwindle in value uh, from 2001 after the terrorist attacks of 9-11 at 40% over three years down to 600,000. It took four years to make back that loss because if you lose 40%, it has to be followed by a 67% gain to get back your money. See, if a million goes down to 600,000, that was a loss of 400,000, 40%. So 600,000 has to increase by 400,000, which is a 67% gain to get back money in a 40% loss. Many people lost 50%. Do you know that you have to follow a 50% loss with a hundred percent gain to get back to break even a million going down to 500,000, 500,000 now has to double to get back your money. It took four years until 2007 until people were back to break even. Now, my favorite vehicle, which I'll talk about here towards the end, uh, it was earning seven to 10% during that time period, meaning I didn't lose. In fact, my million uh, doubled uh, to two million within seven to 10 years when most people were just sort of walking across this flat surface. The Dow Jones, the S&P was barely back to where it was in 2007. But guess what happened in 2008? They never saw it coming, the mortgage meltdown for the second time in a decade, those people who had money in the market, they saw another 40% loss. The million went back down to 600,000. It took four more years to make back that loss. And it was 2012 and they finally had 
their million dollars back that they started with 12 years earlier. Using indexing and my favorite vehicle, there's a lot of people that doubled, even tripled their money. A million is worth three million in that 12 year period because they knew to get their money out of the market. They learned the disadvantages of a mutual fund because money in the market is volatile, especially if you're retired, you do not want to be worried about the market. Golly, I'm gonna have to stop taking income. I'm gonna have to tighten my belt. I can't go travel. I can't do these things until the market rebounds. I gotta get back the money I just lost. No, protect yourself during your golden years so you do not ever lose due to market volatility. So how do you do that? I'm gonna share that with you right now. So let's review. And if this is piquing interest, I would recommend you subscribe to this channel, uh, share it with others who may be interested in this topic. Uh, and at the end of this episode, I'm going to show you how you can learn more. I want to gift you a free copy of my most recent 300 page bestselling book called the laser fund. Now mutual funds, therefore, when you put your money in, you have volatility going on. And so sometimes you might make a good return of 20 or 30%, but then you uh, lose 20 or 30%. And I've already shared with you, if you lose 40%, you have to have a 67% gain to make back your money. If you lose 50% in the market, you're going to have to have a hundred percent gain. Let's just eliminate the losses in the first place. Do you know that uh, Cres Cresmont uh, studied for 50 years and they said, do you know what? In 50 years of stock market history, if you just eliminated all the loss years, okay, uh, you didn't lose, you eliminated those years, you would only need 20, 25% of the up years to outperform the stock market. What does that mean? It means that during the up years, now generally in a decade, there are seven up years versus three down years. The worst decade, 2000 to 2010, since the Great Depression, there were only five up years, five down years. And I doubled my money tax free using indexing during that worst decade. Now, it means this. Cresmont said that if you didn't make anything during the years the market lost, you didn't lose, but you didn't make anything. But during the up years, you only got 25% of what the market did. If the market went up, 4%, you only got one. If it went up uh, uh, 20, you only got four or 5%. You would have outperformed the stock market and the yo-yo. Well, I can show you how to do better than what I just described because indexing basically does that. You may not earn much of anything when the market is down, unless you use what is called the low volatility index. Cause in 2001, 2002, 2003, Zero could have been your hero. You didn't make anything, but you didn't lose. But low volatility indices would have maybe credited you two, three, even four or 5% during those down periods. But see, when the market rebounds, you go up. And so in that worst decade, that allowed me to participate and make money when the market went up, but not lose during the years that went down. That's what enabled me to be able to earn 7.23% and even 10.07% by rebalancing. If this is piquing your interest, oh my heavens, you're gonna love reading and studying about this. You can uh, read, you can listen and learn, you can watch and learn, but I'm passionate about empowering people like you on how to optimize assets. Mutual funds may be okay for growth, but they're pretty pathetic when it comes to creating predictable income streams because you need to rely on an income stream that is not subject to market volatility. And if you're going to have to pay tax, my heavens, you would have to earn nine to net six. You'd have to earn six to net four because in the S and P 500 Dalbar who studies investor behavior says that the actual S and P 500, which is the indicator of the top 500 companies in America, the average return the last 24 years has been just under 6%, but that's not what you're netting. If it's an IRA or 401k, you have to pay tax. If you pull out 6% to only live off of interest, you're only netting 4% after tax. I would rather earn eight tax-free.
How much better is eight than four? It's 100% more. 80,000 a year of tax-free income in retirement instead of 40,000 out of an IRA or 401k invested in the market. The sad thing is most people who have their money in the market, they're buying and selling at the wrong time. And so the actual investor return is only three and a half percent. Folks, don't put up with that. I want to empower you. This is why at retirement planning is so critical. It's much different than what you did for retirement. Study how you can do a strategic rollout. Get your money out of the market. Get it out of those IRAs and 401ks strategically, usually five years before you retire, so that when you retire, I would recommend that no more than 30% of your retirement income is in the market. You want stable, predictable income streams. So let me share with you how you can learn more and claim your free copy of my most recent best-selling book. So if this is intriguing you, my favorite vehicle uh, is the tax-free bucket and I call it the laser fund. Now laser is an acronym L-A-S-E-R that stands for liquid assets, safely earning returns. And so this is the title of my book, how to diversify and create the foundation for a tax-free retirement. Now this retails for 20 bucks on Amazon, but I'll tell you what, you can claim a free copy of this if you go to laserfund, L-A-S-E-R, fund.com and you contribute towards the shipping and handling. I'll cover the rest of that expense and I will pay for the book and fire you out a copy. Study this. This is actually two books in one. This one has all kinds of charts and graphs and explanations. You flip it over and read this one and this has 62 actual client stories how the laser fund is not only the dream solution for retirement, but also maybe for college funding, emergency funds, working capital for business, uh, real estate management. It's my favorite vehicle by far, and it has a ton of advantages that mutual funds will never have.